So I watched the presidential debate, the second presidential debate yesterday, and I, I figured I could tell that people were going to say Obama did better uh, than he did last time, but, but I really can't tell. I mean, I think I focus so much on what these guys are saying. I, You know, the 70% how they look, the 20% how they sound, and the 10% of what they say, that doesn't work for me. For me, it's 90% what they say, and I have trouble even noticing the look and sound, right? And sometimes it can be important even. But, uh, yeah, so it's hard to tell. They're going to say he was soft, they're gonna, and then they're going to argue, and then the people that thought their guy lost are going to argue that he won. Because this and that, and their parents, and just, like, couldn't people just be honest to what they thought? In terms of what's being said, Obama's winning hands down. Because, I mean, he's not like me philosophically. But, you know, he, he's a hell of a lot more consistent. Yeah, he hasn't done some things he said, but that's different than the kinds of consistencies. I mean, Romney doesn't even consistently say what he's going to do. Separate from whether he'd do it or not. He is not even consistent there. And this whole, I won't lower the taxes of the wealthy, because I'm saying, you can't say my plan doesn't work out mathematically, because I say it does. What, don't you trust me? Is my word good enough? What Are you calling me a liar? It's like, hello, you said that you were going to lower their taxes. You know, I'm for 100%. You can't question that because I say so. You say that you're for, you know, 53% at most. It's just, yeah, interesting thing to me about Romney is, you know, he's, he, his business was preying on American businesses that people like Romney were building two generations ago, three generations ago. He's, he's praying, he's vulturizing on them. What, what, what happens when those are gone? And people in Romney's wealth bracket, I mean, what is their American citizenship? They're not trapped to this country like the working people are. They could go move anywhere in the world. Right? And it's pretty damn clear what Romney thinks. He's an expert in getting rid of jobs that can't defend themselves. You know, I'd like, if I had a business leader in the White House, I'd like one that took over those failing businesses and made them succeed, didn't just cannibalize them. Well, some of them did succeed. Yeah, well, some of them were bought by Bain, forced to pay Bain consulting fees, and then went bankrupt after Bain makes money on the deal. That's, that's the kind of cleverness you want. That's the cleverness of capitalists consuming other failed capitalists because capitalism is boom and bust. Some capitalists come in and scavenge during busts. Is that what we need? We just want the, the, the U.S. cleaned, clear, and scavenged completely? I don't think so. And I'm getting so tired of s some of these cliches people rely on, you know, to, like this, this argument about the government creating or not creating jobs. The economy is a system. Anything can create jobs. What creates jobs directly? That's like an almost ridiculous question. The point is, everybody in the system, when a job is created, everybody in that system plays a role, and that would be impossible. Customers create jobs. You know? The point is that you can stimulate the jobs various places in the system, and the government is a main place. Because it can do things on certain scales. It can start things that themselves won't be profitable until the whole system is in place. So we, it has a special role to be able to be the first one to try to do a postal service. Yes, FedEx could come along and do it. But to establish those kinds of infrastructure often has taken government. So that is a job creating thing. You know, the interstate highway system created jobs. It needed gas stations. People work at the gas stations. They sell cars to go on them. They, the whole tourism industry was started. It'd be a great thing if oil wasn't so filthy. It'd be a great thing still, tourism-wise, I mean. That created jobs. It was done for national security reason, and it created jobs. Not just the jobs of digging the ditches, building it. Those are good jobs, too, because those people become expert in building infrastructure, which is useful in general but also for the people that use that road. The solution to America's problems are simple in that respect. If we make infrastructure that people use, so we get the jobs right away from building it, but those are government 
subsidized if it doesn't go anywhere. And then we get the jobs of people using it. And that's the sustainable. That's what ultimately pays for the whole thing if it's going to work. With the government, not every single one of those has to pay off, or if one pays off and is just barely sustaining, that's fine, you know, whereas with the business, that wouldn't be good enough. You want, they are trying to go for the cream of the crop, the low, find the high yield area. The government can perform the foundations that just take care of themselves and aren't high yield. They just pay for themselves, you know. Does that mean that's the only way to make jobs? No, it's a system. The whole thing has to be balanced. Like a chain of dominoes is made out of dominoes. But one domino isn't a chain of dominoes. I really don't see how people could be choosing Romney. And I, and I think my videos about knowing your history uh, are all about that. And people complaining about those videos on various from liberals and conservatives crowds is just ridiculous. If you can't see that the problem we have is people not knowing this, whether you're conservative or liberal, the problem we have is people don't know these things. They don't face or know or calculate in history. Simple history. You know, like people are talking about Romney's a businessman. Like all businessmen are the same. That it's all the same. Business is business. I mean, look, a, a, a venture capitalist making money finding weak businesses. That's a different business than, say, a guy that no, makes a, a wholesale retailer like Costco or whatever. Those are totally different businesses. The kind of skills they, you know, it's like thinking. Hey, I want I, I want somebody to make me a, a desk. I'll find a craftsman. Doesn't matter what kind of craftsman. Hey, you you make things from yarn. You're a craftsman. Okay, I'd like you to make me a furniture of wood. You know, no, this is kind of it's more specific. People are just like they 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 feel in America like they're entitled to not have to know anything, to know as little as possible, and that's what it means for people to be good communicators. He's a good communicator. He makes me feel like I understand him with the least amount of thinking possible. I truly appreciate him. I would have a beer with him and he gets my vote. Yeah. Well, I certainly hope it's Obama. <laughs>